What's up, Scorpio family? It's Obsidian Lotus Cell. I know it is in the afternoon, but I am actually just kind of waking up with you. I slept in today. So, um, I had my breakfast, my yummy stuff, and I've just been sitting here drinking um, a cup of coffee, and I decided it's time to do a reading, right? Um, before I get started, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, share your love and support. As always, please keep the comments positive. Um, I was sitting here thinking because I had to, res I was responding. I, you guys, most of the time, uh, my viewers or subbies keep it pretty, pretty uh, calm, you know, but sometimes I think there's that one person that needs, I don't know if you want your five minutes of shame <laughs> or what, um, but you know, let's just keep it positive, right? Let's not get weird. Let's not get rude. Um, emails, messages, you know what I'm saying, guys. Um, I'm a human being too, right? So, um, and I'm here to help um, as much as I can. But, uh, you know, um, let's just keep it positive and, you know, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> all right, you guys. Um, I had somebody talking crap about the way I shuffled cards today. Um, and it's like, you know what? All right. Okay. Okay. Just so you guys know, I don't know, should we do a little Q&A about me? Um, I've been through a crazy year. I was on chemotherapy for six months and had two surgeries, and uh, my last one was eight weeks ago. So many of you know already that follow me. That's what I've been going through. You've shown me love and support, and I appreciate it for every single one of you. But chemo had some side effects, right? So everyone's different. Um, somebody was commenting about my hair yesterday and yes, I did, uh, lose a lot actually, but, um, I was fortunate enough, uh, not to lose it all. Um, but it did have some effects on my body, like my fingers. And sometimes you guys notice I use smaller cards now, um, or just have some issues sometimes holding cards and it's because I don't feel my hand from about here up. Okay. It's numb. I mean, I can move it. It took me a while to even get used to using hot water, right, without burning myself. So Q&A, um, let's be nice and positive. If you've got something smart to say, you know, think about uh, what it is you're saying and why and why you feel the need to um, unleash some kind of negativity on somebody else. Also, if you got some weird shit to say, rethink it, right? Um, I'm a human being too and I don't want to be bombarded with a bunch of weirdness. Um, especially with what I've got going on in my life as well. Let's keep it normal. Um, I'm here to help, but, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to go into anything else about that or in detail about that either guys, but, um, <laughs> I love you. If you'd like to donate that information's in the description box below. I have a GoFundMe link set up. I am still out of work. I'm a single mother. Um, also, um, yeah, I love support, all that good stuff, prayers, positive vibes, send my way. I love it. And everybody that has, thank you. Um, so, oh God, I'm so glad the sun's coming out. It's been so weird here. It's been cold and raining, and then five minutes later, the sun's out. So, um, there's something that you've had some foresight about. Scorpio, let's just get into the reading. The energy that I was getting, you've had some foresight about um, something here okay and um, what was the, the other comment I know I shouldn't address them but I just think it's funny um it's almost like somebody's trying to make me feel bad about myself or shame me in some way shape or form um uh sorry I was reading a message from my baby daddy <laughs> um but somebody asked oh the same person that was shaming me about my shuffling technique had something smart to say about my tattoos saying they look fresh did I get them after chemo and you know I haven't had a new uh q and a haven't had a new tattoo in five years or over five years uh, I was lucky enough to have wonderful artists who did all my tattoo work and um here's a little tidbit about me that many of you may, might not know one of my first jobs ever was in a tattoo shop hence I'm covered right so um a lot of them are pretty old but again, they look beautiful because I had great artists. Um, and some of them are not here anymore. Rest in peace. So, guys, again, <laughs> uh, I just got to laugh it off. I just got to laugh it off, right? So, um, you've had some foresight about some, 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 uh, a situation that, uh,
um, you've got injustice in it. Uh, it could be involving a fire sign or a Libra, but it feels like, or there's such a situation that you even like predicted or saw coming. Okay. But this is also representing freedom. Okay. So, um, and I keep being drawn to this, to this, like in this card, the justice card. I love this deck. This, this sign says stop killing us, right? So there's something that you saw predicted even, um, could be with the justice system. But I feel like, yeah, because I'm looking at this big ass crystal behind this guy in this picture, right? And that's like foresight, right? Foresight having the ability to like see things. Some of you see things, you're a seer too, right? So, um, or it's just something, you saw something and it gave you the ability to free yourself from a situation and you've gotten justice in a situation, okay? There's some kind of energy here it's going, that's gonna bring justice in a situation. You Maybe you saw something here, okay? Maybe it literally had something to do with somebody See how he's looking? It looks like he's kind of hurt, but he's kind of like, really, motherfucker? Like that face, like, I can't believe I just figured this out, right? So, or... <sighs> it's like somebody saw something here. Somebody saw through someone, something. Um, the number 11 could be important, so it could be Scorpio energy as well, or that could just be your energy. All right, but being free, let's see. Ooh, these cards are just sh hard to shuffle, period, though, y'all. They're huge. They're huge. All right. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Scorpio, sun, moon, rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot. Amen. Um Archangel Michael, please help prevent any negative energy being sent our way. Um, block it and send it back into the universe, into nothingness. Amen. For some of you, the King of Pentacles, the moon card, wanted to come out to you. So it could have something to do with a situation with work, boss energy. Um, here's the High Priestess. Pisces energy, but knowing something here, figuring something out. Um, and then Six of Cups, reunion energy. All right, so somebody from the past, Scorpio energy could be coming back into your energy, Scorpio. Doesn't necessarily have to be a lover. Okay, I am feeling that. Let's see. Could have to do with a Scorpio from the past, Sagittarius energy temperance energy but that's divine protection look how she's pouring one out for the homies here right so this is like somebody who's been through a lot of shit i feel the vibe of this card right so it's like um been through a lot of shit been protected through a lot of shit had some foresight in a situation maybe this is you scorpio like having foresight in a situation you've survived in some way shape or form see how the feathers are falling out and you guys i don't know if you follow me um, or if you've been familiar with me talking about signs, like when you see a feather on the ground, usually like to me, that's a sign like my angels are near, right? So let's see what else we have here. Queen of Cups energy, the throne of emotion. All right. So I feel like there's some emotion here. Yeah. Five of Cups feeling a little like sorrow over a situation or a loss. Scorpio energy again very scorpionic okay so um there i feel like all right scorpio it's kind of like feeling the feelings right i posted something was it yesterday this morning on my um instagram story but about like feeling emotion right so feeling it recognizing it and releasing it and not letting it take over right so i feel like this is kind of possibly the process with these cards coming out maybe what you're going through right now right so kind of seeing something see how he looks kind of like man it, he looks bothered emotionally right but it's like it's almost in this energy that i feel like in this card it's like seeing it release seeing it feeling it releasing it right um maybe that's the justice in a situation that's gonna bring you freedom okay 
Nine of Swords energy, despair energy, feeling like you can't sleep, all right? Worried about something. Star card could be involving an Aquarius energy. The number 17 could be significant. But this is also prayers being answered in a situation and feeling like there is hope. So it's like moving out of this energy of feeling like full of despair, okay? This is Mars and Gemini energy as well. But then like feeling like, you know what, like this, this, because there's a lot of thought with Aquarius energy, it's air energy, feeling like there's hope now, moving from this energy of feeling like, all right, I'm in total despair, I feel hopeless, right? It's not letting the emotion take over, feeling like there's hope. And a lot of times through prayer and meditation, this is where we get this energy, right? Or at least I do. So I like the start of this reading. Let's go ahead and see what's up with your angel oracle today, spirit. Do we have a message for the angel oracle for Scorpio? Maybe we're gonna start having our five minutes of shame. <laughs> no, don't do that to me, y'all. I don't like the funky, crazy shit, right? So, <laughs> all right, spirit. What message do we have for my Scorpios? What messages do we have for my Scorpios? Yes, this timing, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. So um, if there's something you've been thinking about doing, whether it's starting a new business, starting a new chapter in your life, starting studying something new, whatever this is, Scorpio, I feel like this is your angel. I hate this little light. I'm trying to dodge it. <laughs> this is your angel saying yes right? Spirit guide saying, yes, it's time to do this, right? It's time to explore whatever this is, right? Um, if you've been thinking about doing it, um, doing something here. Let's get one more. Something new. All right. Fiona. <laughs> uh, now is now that you've asked the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. Again, with the star energy, feeling hopeful, right? It's like, okay, you've asked for the help. Here it is, right? Feel hopeful, feel hopeful, feel grateful. Um, and you deserve the help, right? And feel like you deserve it, right? There's divine guidance, assistance being sent to you, right? So don't also, again, with divine guidance and assistance, there are signs and, you know, our intuition is a God-given gift to read these signs a lot of times. So again, with this energy, Scorpio, pay attention, but also know that, again, there is being given hope for you in a situation. All right, so let's do a romance oracle card. See what's going on with love for my Scorpios. What's going on with love for my Scorpio spirit? Anyway, I got a lot of love and light. Really, it takes, it takes a lot to phase me anyway. I think it's pretty humorous. Um, but maybe we should just have a QA and a about me, right? So it's like maybe apparently somebody wants to know a song. All right, so... Spirit, angels, ancestors, guys, what, uh, what do we have for my Scorpios? Unrequited love. There's not a love, enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. All right, Scorpio. So there could be a situation where one person feels more intensely about another one in a connection, right? So it, it happens. It sucks when it does, right? Um, but it does happen. So again, if you're feeling like this, don't ignore the signs in the situation, right? Kind of reevaluate like, all right, or if it's you, maybe you're not feeling another person as much as they feel they like you, right? This is here for a reason, right? So again, uh, not selling yourself short, but also not selling another person short, right? So is that even how you would say that? <laughs> I don't know, but you know what I'm saying. Maybe it's not fair to the other person. All right. So if you're not feeling them as much as they are you as well, children, you, uh, your love life is being affected by children. So there's a situation here involving children that could be affecting your love life. Maybe you uh, have children, single parents, whatever it is. There's energy here possibly either with you or your person that is um, 
affecting maybe this is why there's you know um, not as much attention okay the unrequited love could just be not being shown enough attention or there's an issue here with children that's creating a separation in the dynamic in some way shape or form for some of you let's do one more two more wanted to come out so we're, we're gonna take it this is forgiving and learning all right so as you release and heal from the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So again, forgiveness, right? And you guys know, I talk about it, I preach about it all the time. You know, one thing I don't like to do is live with hate in my heart towards anyone, right? So most of the time, if it's not a physical, verbal communication where there's some sort of forgiveness or peace energy, it's an energetic thing for me, right? So, and it's about creating a vibe, creating an energy in your own life that's conducive to receiving more love, okay? And living better in your present moments and experiencing the love better that you have in your present moment, right? So new love coming your way, a new person has stirred up your romantic feelings. All right, you know, Side note, we've got new love, right? For those of you that aren't in a situation, or maybe this is the unrequited love situation, there's new love for some of you that sparked your interest here. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you. Chariot energy, I've been getting that a lot for you guys too lately. Some of you might be thinking about purchasing a new car might be doing a lot of driving and thinking. We've got the tower energy, Scorpio energy. Somebody is watching you. We had hacker energy, possibly somebody that has to do with some sort of work that you do with the eight of swords. Somebody's watching you and seeing you happy. They don't like that either. Seven of swords energy. It's a deceptive energy, okay. This is possibly what you've already figured out or had some sort of foresight about though because I did see the Free of Wands again. Here's the star card. Those are both, excuse me, the cards I had here at the bottom, at the bottom of the deck, at the bottom of the table. Maybe I should look at the bottom of the deck. Damn. All right, clarity, Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Let's see. We have the Prince of Cups. This is creative energy, the filmmaker. Can I take your picture? Look at his, um, the way he's got his little, you know, his air camera, right? <laughs> Should I call it that? I don't know, right? But uh, he's in a theater alone. Protect your energy here from somebody here. Okay, there's possibly somebody trying, uh, I don't like this energy. We've got divine it intervention though the temperance energy again which was one of the cards we had before prince of cups energy this is protecting your creative energy right so it's like what you create here alone what you create there's a vision right maybe some of what you're creating right now remember we got the card like now's the time now's the time possibly whatever it is that you're creating to protect this baby whatever it is protect the energy um and maybe you know just be careful right we do have divine protection here with the seven of wands energy this is also representing art in some way shape or form as well so for you again there's something possibly dealing with some sort of creative energy that i feel like spirit is guiding you to kind of protect like a baby right it's like your baby maybe it's like you know trying to keep others from maybe stealing from like whatever creative ideas that you have or you know um anyway that's the vibe i'm getting from that let's see what other energy we have for my scorpios been a level of conflict i just saw the five of wands and seeing things from a different perspective for you in a situation or just in general right the five of wands can also represent like mental conflict it doesn't necessarily have to be physical verbal right it can also be like you know things going on in your head we've got page of pentacles energy good news coming your way nine of cups energy something's gonna make you happy Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. So again, with the tower energy, there has been a completion in a situation for you, but you're going to get new, good news. Okay. So three of cups energy right after that. Oh my God. I'm doing the PP dance. Like, can I even finish the reading? Oh, please don't make me have to get up. 
This coffee is running right through me. Um, Sidetrack for a second, guys. Sorry. Um, the, the Page of Pentacles energy, the Nine of Cups energy here. Uh, let's see what you're going to get good news about because it's going to make you happy. I didn't even have a chance to shuffle. All right, something that's going to bring stability here. Two of Wands energy. This is possibly a partnership, okay? With the Four of Pentacles, uh, a stable partnership or an offer here. Um, it could also be financial here with the Pentacles. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but we've got good money news. So there is something that's going to, um, it could be something that has to do with a partnership Um contract in some way shape or form with uh because this is a soulmate energy working with a soulmate right um see how there's two heads here right on this guy it's like one person like two heads are better than one it could be some sort of um working together here financially possibly with someone here it's like a soulmate connection but it's a vibe where maybe it's not a love thing right it's it's somebody maybe you're supposed to work with something's gonna make you happy right because not every soulmate that's uh is a romantic soulmate people we're, we're meant to meet all kinds of different people in our lifetime for different reasons right so let's see what the nine of cups energy is five of cups in reverse so yeah you're coming out of this energy of feeling like there's a lot of sadness sorrow regret with the five of cups energy empress energy libra energy taurus energy but high vibe right i love this card too um high vibe scorpio this is the energy of feeling like you can enjoy your life right again something's gonna make you happy to the point where it's like, I feel free. I feel like I can just be me. I feel like I can, I'm in this energy of creating, doing what I love and being happy, right? With the world card here, there has been an ending here, okay? But this is a completion. There could be travel coming for you here. Um, Page of Wands in reverse. For some of you, there's been an ending to a situation where it was like you were being disrespected or treated badly like a bo by a boss energy. Okay, king of so king of uh, coins in reverse again. Um, here's this five of wands where there was some level of conflict. Okay, maybe it's being able to be free from this for some of you. Let's see what those two cards are. We have the world card, eight of cups. Yeah, somebody walked away from something. They did put some work in here or um, you tried to be patient about a situation possibly. What is the world card energy? We got two, all right. Nine of swords, yeah, somebody is like, all right, there was an ending to some sort of a commitment here that had to do with money for someone or just a commitment here. Um, somebody's no longer worried about that energy. With it in reverse. Uh, there is a level of feeling not completely free, though. Three of Wands in reverse. So for whatever reason, maybe there's still some sort of attachment here in a situation where you're not completely free. What's the tower here? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio energy. Seven of Pentacles, King of Cups. All right, so there has been a tower here, okay, where you've planted some seeds here. Because, and this can represent, like I said before, patience, but I feel like in this situation, it's like um, right here with the tower, it feels like with there's a tower with something where you planted seeds somewhere. Could be with a person, job, whatever, all right? Something financial, it doesn't necessarily have to be. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, King of Cups in reverse with the tower. This is somebody showing emotion, right? Some, somebody that, I'm not sure if this is your energy or someone else's, it's water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But in reverse, the King of Cups is no longer holding back his emotion, right? With it in reverse, this is somebody that, this is a, a tower hit and it caused some sort of emotion to come out, right? Um, whether it was good or bad with the tower possibly wasn't good. Um, Nine of Wands energy, Scorpio. 
And I feel like you're just kind of standing here in this energy. This is my wounded warrior, right? This is somebody who's been through a lot. This is Sophia. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Golden Girls. Who isn't? But she's looking like, damn, what I do, right? <laughs> like, I've been through... What? Hold on, right? Like, I'm over here in this energy. Like, I'm just trying to survive, right? So, Page of Swords energy. Somebody said some things, did some things. Like, not thinking, right? With the Page of Swords, that's like fast energy. You know it, though. Like, there's something here you know. Like, if somebody said or did something in a situation, you know it was just kind of like emotion, raw raw emotion coming out in some way, shape, or form. With the Seven of Swords energy, there is a secret here. It was like somebody was holding back emotion is what I'm getting. And for some reason, it was like, you know, how it came out. It came out like, you know, like somebody poked the bear, yeah, with a Ten of... Uh, Ten of Wands energy, or Ten of Swords energy. Um, ten of Wands, I accidentally just said that fire energy. That's passionate energy. It's raw energy. Could be the energy of somebody who was just like, felt like they had a lot of shit on their shoulders. And then it was like, bam, this Ten of Swords felt like, something felt like a Ten of Swords energy right here in this energy. Um, <laughs> it's like somebody got thrown over the boat, right? It's like, I don't know. Somebody poked a bear in a situation. So, um, with the full card though, Scorpio, we do have the energy of new beginnings here or new beginning and then reason to celebrate with the three of cups energy, Taurus energy. King of Swords energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini could be involving a masculine Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, but this is also the energy of it's like coming up with a plan and sticking to it, right? Um, Page of Cups came out in reverse. Yeah, it's like if you're not being shown love and an energy, I feel like you're, there was a spiritual lesson that you had to learn. This can also be uh, clarity here, knowing the truth about something or a situation as well. Um, Wow. All right. So there is like a bunch in reverse here underneath at the bottom of the deck. Sagittarius, Queen of Swords, energy in reverse. Emperor, energy in reverse. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Swords, energy in reverse. And the Hierophant in reverse. So it's like Justice in reverse. Two of Cups in reverse. Queen of Cups in reverse. And Judgment in reverse. All of that. So again, it's kind of like, I feel like I don't feel like that's for you. I feel like it's like somebody kind of having to go through. Yeah, because you're being granted a new beginning in a situation or just in general, right? With this double confirmation right here, okay? Um, somebody could be going through some, some shit here with that other energy and tower, right? And then the death card in reverse. I just don't feel it's your energy, Scorpio. The lovers. Gemini energy, soulmate energy. There's a mutual attraction here. Um, could be somebody wanting to start over with you. Okay, Gemini energy. But also, again like a situation where somebody wasn't telling the truth here about how they felt in a situation, I think. Maybe it's starting fresh, starting over in the energy of like, I want to, yeah, there's some kind of silent energy, not talking about something here, like being honest here. You have a gut feeling about it, all right? Let's see what other messages do we have for Scorpio. Then I'm going to have to like, you got to, my ladder's gonna explode here. All right, artificial fake. 
fake energy. You misunderstand me. And then something about a whole lot of money here, okay? Um, somebody could have a whole lot of money. There's an energy of feeling misunderstood. Communication or messages coming in. And then there's artificial or fake energy, fake love, fake love. Maybe this person gets a lot of fake energy, fake love. Um, someone can't be trusted, though. So I don't know if that's you or somebody else, Scorpio. Somebody feels like somebody can't be trusted here. This person could have green eyes. Or there's just the energy of like envy in a situation, jealousy. Maybe there's somebody around you that's jealous in your energy around you that can't be trusted. And then somebody feels like your eyes are unforgettable, right? There's something about your eyes here. They see something in your eyes. This is they're feeling divinely guided energy or feel divinely guided energy and then be careful for some of you <sighs> rebound situation came out some of you somebody might be in a rebound situation coming towards you or this person that wants to start over left a karmic relationship all right and somebody misses your face I miss your face right all right so again love at first sight if somebody feels like the moment they saw you they kind of loved you here um there's hidden feelings about something here scorpio scorpios who doesn't love a scorpio though right all right <laughs> let's see what messages we have with my angel tarot Scorpio. What other messages? Judgment. All right. This is like uh, destroying the power of enemies and humiliating them in some way, shape, or form. Remember how I said that all that stuff was in reverse? That could have been an enemy energy. Somebody's kind of going through their own like spiritual jail now or something because of something that had to do with you, possibly judgment here. Um, and God hidden in the darkness. So again, you coming out of this energy of feeling like there was not hope. But in this judgment energy also, um, having a wake-up call, letting go of old stories that control your life, Scorpio, right? Having foresight in a situation with the Ten of Pentacles, you're doing the enter and out of work, all right? And this helps one keep their job, right? This is money, Ten of Pentacles energy. So again, there could be this, this it's whatever this work that you've already done or doing is helping you you know, move towards whatever goal it is that you have financially here. Financially here, this is building a legacy, okay? Ten of Pentacles energy. Let's do one more. Patience. Your angels are trying to reveal a secret to you with the Five of Pentacles, where you might have taken an owl, a loss, or a situation here with finances. Or just in general. And then um, two of pentacles. You might be um, receiving some sort of, it says fortune and fame and fulfills any request. So again, this is that energy of gratitude. But receiving, you could be receiving some kind of recognition, small or large here. With this energy, it could be involving work, okay, with the two of pentacles. All right, so let's see. Let's do a couple tea leaf. And like I said, I gotta go. All right. Scorpio, Ugh. what messages, what other messages do we have for my Scorpios? Staff, you'll be taken care of in difficult times. Amen, right? I like seeing that. Um, the gavel, there's some sort of involvement with the law here or uh, legal situation possibly that has been going on for you. You will be receiving or giving a precious gift with the diamond. Or this could be, you know, outside energies possibly going through this around you. Doesn't necessarily have to be your energy. And then celebration, fun, and enjoyment. So again, we got this energy for you as well. One of the last cards that I pulled in your normal or overall first, the tarot cards, the last tarot card I pulled for your spread was the three of pen, three of wands. 
All right now, <laughs> three, 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 right? I just said it, this is divine protection, but celebrate, enjoy your life, have fun, right? So again, try to be in this energy today. Enjoy life, stay positive. I love you guys very much. Thank you again for all your love and support. Again, if you'd like to donate, that information is in the description box below. Until next time, bye.